Lights out, Formula E is go in Jakarta, and it's a good start from pole man. Max Gunter getting in front, and Jake Dennis, as he told us, he thought he might lose that second place to Pascal Wehrlein. Wehrlein's going to try and go around the outside, if at all possible. Vern is also potentially going to get Pine to third position there. That was a good start from Jean-Eric Vern as well. I think actually it was Van Dorn there, Ben. It was right. Van Dorn who's managed to get also off the clean side of the grid, and he's got himself up into third place. You can see the dust there as the drivers go offline. Robin Fryne's up in sixth place, so he's managed to hold on, but he's having a lunge there. So Cassidy now in eighth place. At least he's gained a little bit from where he was in qualifying. There's Boemi trying to come back through. Yeah, he's got past Beckman there, oh. but they make contact, and Beckman's lost his front wing, which has then probably been run over by Lucas de Grassi. Boemi up into 19th. I think I have a back shot. Yeah, that's not surprising there with that level of contact. Challenge for the lead, and Pascal Wehrlein goes in front, but good to not give it up, and he almost touched his rear wheel. Hopefully he hasn't damaged the front of his car as well, but Gunter down into second place. That was a good move by Pascal Wehrlein. Nick Cassidy a bit further down in eighth place, and then further down the order as well, Sam Bird uh, in the Jaguar, oh, and so yeah. going into attack mode as well is but, Pascal Wehrlein. Yeah, Wehrlein, that was good for Wehrlein because he went for attack mode, but didn't lose a place. So there's our championship leader, seventh place for Nick Casti and uh, he's not using attack mode just yet and there you go there is the race leader so now he drops down to second place and as you said he only loses the one place he comes back out ahead of Van Dorn meanwhile good has got to watch out here because Jake Dennis is getting closer you're looking back at Jake Dennis with the Andretti and uh, the number 27 car they're right tucked in behind him so he's got to be a little bit cautious, but Gunter's doing a great job so far. He is in attack mode, but having taken that path that you have to take, you lose a bit of track space and time, and you often lose a place or two. Good on battery, mate. Keep it up. What to oh. think? Oh, look at this. There's Jake Dennis. Jake Dennis battling with Van Dorn side by side and wheel to wheel virtually, and he just gets through. So Jake Dennis and Van Dorn, that looks as though it was almost going to end in tears, but they've made it through okay. Yeah, watch the rear of the car here. So he pulls out to the inside. There, he starts to squirm around, but just gets it calmed down in time for the apex. Van Dorn gave him just about enough room. Good, clean, fair driving from, from both drivers there as uh, Dennis up into third place, and he's now a second and a half off Max Gunter. Um, right, Cassidy now all over the back of Sean Rick Verne. He's in the slipstream. He's going to get some sort of benefit here off the toe, although Verne himself getting something from Van Dorn. Cassidy's having a look. He's down the inside. Oh! oh. oh. Contact between the two. He's nearly spun it. He's surely going to lose a place, as he know. I'm surprised that Mortara wasn't close enough to get alongside in there. And amazingly, it looks as though there's no actual damage done on either car. Let's have another look at it then, Karen. Let's see. It is a long way back, isn't it, from where he comes? Yeah, I Just think... Just turned in on me. He's come from a long, long way back there. And OK, I suppose he's trying to say Jeff should have given him a bit more room because he was halfway alongside, but... That was a big, big lunge. In the meanwhile, we missed this earlier. Jake Dennis got ahead of Max Gunter there. Just turned in on me. Yeah, I see. That's what I was saying before. They've clearly got to a point where he is saving our... Oh, here we go. Battle for the lead. And Dennis had a little look. Verlein saw him coming. Covered the inside. But look at Gunther now going around the outside. Ben, as they headed to turn two. This is a real chance for Max Gunther to take that second place and be battling more. No, he can't quite do it. Jake Dennis just... But look how it's allowed Stoffel van Dorn to join in. So now we've got a four-way fight up front. So no any laps. We've had no safety car periods. No yellow flags even, I don't think. Let's find out what happened here, Corinne. Oh, oh, but his own teammate. Not again. That's not the again. second time. Oh, and it was Sam Bird who hit Evans. Right, turn 13. This is Dennis's best and last opportunity yeah, as the third driver. Sam Bird who's dropped three. down now, Sorry, so the both the Jaguar is in trouble in this uh, race. We've got another it's yellow flag, as you say. But is it going to change? Pascal Wehrlein, I think he can hold on here. We're into the final sections before coming on to the start-finish straight. And Jake Dennis surely is not going to quite manage to do it. Good exit out of the last corner. And there's no doubt about it. Pascal Wehrlein takes victory in Jakarta and takes his third win of the season after a tough time recently. And that puts the championship battle right up together again with the...